<laughs> well, we got a big show today. <laughs> Oh, I don't have that. Oh, man. And here we go. Oh, dude, that, that'd be a good one. That'd be a good one. Yeah, Batman. Batman. Dark Knight Rises. You can or just, Dark Knight. Sorry. Dark Knight Rises? Yeah. You could find it probably and just add it in post-production. Yeah. That's fix true. it in post. Yeah, that's right. Pretty cut cool. that part out. No, that's not. No, we'll oh, fix it. No, not, fix it. Don't cut it out. We no. have to add it in. Leave it there, but add things to it. <sighs> so, Brett... Oh, what? What's wrong, Ben? I saw Furiosa. Yeah? And? When Furiosa is a girl, a child, yeah. the movie sucks. Like, it's poorly shot. Mm-hmm. I hated it. Yeah? But then, there, when she becomes the chick from uh, Queen's Gambit, yeah, um, it gets better. Yeah. There's she a, was a child for like two minutes in the movie. No, it's like the first full half. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Up until there's a scene with a truck that's going oh, yeah. down the road, and there's a lot yeah. of stuff that happens. Yeah. And that scene was cool, but yeah. So, Overall, I do not give it a 90% like mm. Rotten Tomatoes nice. what critics do you, what do you and give it? audience. Uh, 67, maybe? Oh, nice. Not good enough to be 69. No, no. Mm. I would give it a two. Uh, that's my score. A two percent? Two percent. Damn. That's no. harsh. I'd go 67 as well. Maybe 65. Uh, it's kind of a nice D minus. 61. Yeah. I need to rewatch Fury Road just so I can see how it measures up. Yeah. Mm. But. Kind of didn't like the end. Of Fury Road? Yeah. How it kind of just. I don't remember it. Went right into Mad Max and it was like. Charlize, oh really? Charlize Theron is like it shouldn't be this close. There should be like a fifteen year gap in between that. I feel like okay, Charlize Theron, whatever the fuck her name is. Yeah. And oh, why didn't they get just get her back for the movie? I don't know. Right. Is that who uh, Furiosa is? Is Charlize Theron's character? Yeah. Okay. Mad, That's what Mad I Max. figured. Yeah. 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 Fury Road. I just. Couldn't remember Fury Road at all. So yeah, it's been a few years. But I, I was pretty sure she had that, the black makeup on mm-hmm. her forehead. Yeah, she did. So that was hot. Nice. I don't like that actress though that much. Shirley Theron. Theron. Oh, I thought you were gonna say the chick from Queen's oh, Gambit. I love her. Yeah. Mm, I love her. Her eyes are. Different. Yeah, mysterious. Different. Like just a little too far apart. But Real she, hot. She makes it look good. Yeah. Mm, it's hot. So uh, we had a couple guys, well, one guy mostly fill in for Bill on Monday and Tuesday. Okay. Mostly, you said mostly one guy? I thought it was a two-guy operation. Well, just one guy filled in or did it yesterday. All right. Monday. And then two guys did it for most of the show today, but it was a different guy from oh. from last time. So all right. It was all over the place a little bit. But <clears throat> do you remember when we used to work at, I don't know, other radio stations and they'd connect via tie line? Yeah. So that's how Midland needs to connect. Okay. Like, basically, that's how we would connect our radio station so that he could come through on our board so that I can send it out to the network or whatever. Right. And we don't have a tie line in GR, and tie lines are, like, super old. And we just have, like, yeah. the Comrex access points or whatever. So they can usually just dial into an IP address. So I'd been, like, yeah, texting him about it since last Thursday. I'm like, this, I know it's not going to work. It's gonna mm-hmm. be it's gonna be a fucking clusterfuck. Didn't hear back. They tested Friday, like right at the end of the show. They put like five minutes into it, ten minutes into it. Didn't okay. work. And I'm like, oh my god, here we go. We're gonna go in Monday blind. Yeah. So uh, we got there like three hours early. I got there at like noon, and we finally figured something out. It was some back ass way of doing it, but it finally ended up working. Nice. So I was fucking super stressed out about that because yeah, but. No way. I don't know what to put on air if those guys can't connect to the show. You don't have like a guy. best of that. Not really. The up has Bill would not. No, Bill would not let me do that. I don't know. I gotta send them. I put together a best of show. I need to do that too. Um, 
But is that something? That's something I just probably send a link up, right? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I have to talk to him Josh buddy. Lang probably. Anyway, so yesterday was. I mean, it was okay. We got connected. It sounded okay, but like this way that it connects into our board is like via Wi-Fi. Okay. And it just like once we got a caller on the line. Yeah. The dude was like, "Hello, I think we lost our guest. I think we lost." And the guy, the guest is still there. Oh. And so like there was, I don't know packet loss or whatever i don't know what it would be called but like everything sounded bad he couldn't hear anything oh no and it was all because he had like browsers open on the same desktop that he was using (laughs) to transmit to us okay so that was fucking stressful so like there's like a a minute of our guests going hell i hear you i hear you (laughs) the kids uh, yep i think we lost him and then i lost him the the host and so i sent it to break and we regrouped (laughs) And then the kid is like, they're talking about tigers, and this kid, yeah. you know, he thinks he knows it all about the tigers, and all right. he's kind of being a dick to the guest I booked for him. Oh, no. Like, he's cutting him off. He's, like, saying, like, oh, how could you say that? This blah, 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 blah. Like, I get you can have a different different opinion than, yeah. than the guest, definitely. <laughs> but he was being a dick to him. Oh. And then after he got off, we went to break, and he's like, that guy was a fucking idiot fuck was that it was the drop machine it just turned off and turned on oh nice that's gonna be awesome so he was like talking crap about him afterwards and i kind of just bit my tongue a little like who was talking crap the, the host, host yeah. oh and i'm like oh to each their own that's yeah. just basically what i said Charlize least their own Charlize their own <laughs> and i it kind of bothered me that he was being a dick to yeah. the guest because I have a relationship with these dudes and right. I'd like to get them back on the show again, you know? Yeah, exactly. So I thought about it last night. I'm like, I'm going to say something to him. And then uh, right before the show, he's like, hey, I was just curious. Did that guy ever come back? And like, did he ever say anything like back to you? And I was like, nope, he didn't say anything. He's like, yeah, he probably thought I was a dick. And I'm like, yeah, he probably did. And <laughs> I was like, in the future, like, I do have relationships with these people. Oh, so, you said that? Yeah, I said, don't, but appreciate it if you weren't a dick to them, you know? He's like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll try not to be. Like, oh, okay. wow. It's like, I don't want to fucking. The, t- check out the balls on Brad. I don't want to tell Bill about that shit, because then the kid yeah. won't be able to fill in again. You know? Right, yeah, Bill would get pissed. So I'd rather just tell him and be like, just, it's pretty simple. Don't, just yeah. don't be a dick. But today was good. That's uh, good. He had a guest host with him. Oh, nice. Uh, it was still like kind of choppy at some points because of oh, okay. the fucking connection. But other than that, it was good. Bill's back tomorrow. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. He's, <laughs> he's, he's going to be at the LPJ. So he's, I'm going to be in studio all week by myself, man. This is like one of the only times I'm going to be able to interact with another human being right now. Nice. Well, appreciate let's have you. some fun with appreciate it. Appreciate you being here for me. Yeah, no problem. Hmm. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. You know what sucks for me is when I wake up in the morning and I look at... Uh, feeling like P. Diddy. <laughs> what? Wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. Is that how it goes? Yes. What song is that? That's not the Friday song, is no, it? No, it's Ke- uh, what's Kesha. It? Kesha, yeah. Ugh. Drinking, Ugh. brush my teeth with a bottle of Jack or something like that. I don't know. Anyways. Her voice irritates me. Yeah. Sorry. No, it's all right. I cut you off there, and that was rude. You know, when I go to check at 5 o'clock, I check to see. That's usually when I'm up and I'm pulling clips for the show, audio clips. Yeah. I check to see at 5 o'clock how long the first segment is from Bill's show the day before. Yeah. Because sometimes it's 15, sometimes it's 27 minutes. I got to know when it's over so I can call Link up. Yeah. And then today and last Monday, the computer, the automation computer was off. Really? So I had to log in, but I can't do it on my phone. Oh. So. <laughs> That's fun. I flew into this la- last Monday. <clears throat> I was like, I called them at 530 and I was like, I'm having trouble logging into the computer. I'm going to call you back when I'm able to yeah. test. So I did that, but today I called, or they they called me at like five forty. I got in at five forty five, yeah, and connected. But I'm wondering if they're gonna say something to Marty. 
They're not going to say anything to Marty. Westwood said stuff before. They don't. Marty, they're not going to say I anything hope. to Marty. They're not. They're going to say something to Josh if anything, but I not not Marty. Whatever. Who cares? Yeah. They fucking. We were off air for the first two minutes today. Really? Yeah. They they somehow disconnected us on the brick. Like, oh jeez. So I got to call it three hundred two. Like, hey, we, we are we're disconnected. Oh, cool. Thanks. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Not just can't have a fucking easy day, can I? No. It's got to be something every time, don't it? Yeah. Ah, damn, man. Oh, oh, great thing that happened today. We had Lomas Brown on. Oh, nice. And he was actually at the Meyer LPGA in, uh, in Rock Blythe Field. Yeah. And the guy, Ben, the host, guest host, asked him, like, oh, how was that? Like, did you play any golf? And Lomas said something along the lines of, no, I was with my buddy Herman Moore, though. He was out here stroking some balls, and I was just <laughs> out here, you know. <laughs> Uh, giving hugs, shaking hands, shaking babies, and you know, broken <laughs> balls. It's <laughs> yeah, <that's> fucking <laughs> hilarious. That is hilarious. Oh my god! Does he even know what he just said? Mm, that's maybe, what she said. Maybe he said it on purpose. Stroking balls. That's nice. Some nice verbiage there. Yeah, I like that. I do too. Might have to put that into my everyday use. Yeah, stroke my balls. Stroke, baby. stroke my balls. My hand. Ah, <laughs> hmm. uh, yes, 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 yes. When's your bachelorette party? Uh, the 29th of this so month. So it's coming up. Yeah. Okay. 19 days away. Cool. Oh, uh, <sighs> I should hopefully be there. You know. Right. I better be there. Zane's not going to be there. He's going to be in Maine. Zane. Zane in Maine. Maine. <laughs> So are you going to like put me in a golf cart with you or we'll see. I don't know how that's working out yet. Okay. I don't even know if like I'm hoping we're golfing. I hope they have something set up. Yeah, we're golfing. Well, I don't know. I'm not on the text chain. So I'm not really on the know. text chain. No. Oh, maybe I shouldn't be talking to you about this. Then? No, it's fine. I don't want. I don't know. The is this a, exact is this a surprise? No, it's not. So you don't know. You don't know the plans. I thought it was not a surprise. golf and then hang out at my friend Matt's house. Yeah, that's the plan. In Sand Lake. Yeah, that's, okay. that's the plan. All right. All right. Just making, just, I, I, I didn't know it was concrete or not. It sounded like it, you know? I mean, it's your bachelorette party, you know? Yeah. Huh. But I haven't been told anything. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm oh, left out you of know the that? loop. Did I tell you that? No, I, I, that's Did what I... I said I wanted was to go golfing and then hang out at somebody's house. Oh, okay. So I didn't spoil then they, it. They were going to do a uh, party bus to go into Grand Rapids, I think, or somewhere. Oh, but God. the party bus wouldn't pick anybody up there, which okay. is weird because we had a bachelor party there before and we got picked up there. Or it was somebody's birthday or something. I, we, we got a party bus there before. You got it picked up. You got picked up downtown? No, we got picked up at his house. Oh, that we're okay. Be at, oh, Sand I see. Lake. I got you. So I don't know why well, Sand Lake's such kind an of issue. Drive, yeah. This time though, a different company, maybe, probably, possibly. Oh God! But it should be fun. It will be. Lots of fun. It will be, sir. It will be. Brett. Brett. You just brought up. I did. You're right. You're so correct. I did. Being single and stroking balls with your own hand. I did bring that up, kind of, yeah. Well, you could be like this guy mm-hmm. in North Carolina. Okay. Oh, yeah, we are recording. Okay. And do things a little bit differently. Okay. I'm, I'm listening. So a North Carolina waitress claimed she was fired for posting a now viral TikTok video of a customer eating dinner in the company of an inflatable sex doll. Mm, I saw that video. Oh, you did? I think so. Okay. And I was just like, wow, that's a funny prank. That's really funny. That's funny. Ha ha. So funny I forgot to laugh. Well, it's not a prank. It, it is a prank. It is? It's got to be. Prank? What? You lost your job. Prank to you. No, bringing a sex doll. That, oh, that's, that's the, prank. the prank. Well, what else would be the prank here? That she got fired because this chick got fired. No, why would that be the prank? Because it's hilarious. <laughs> it's not a prank. 
She got fired for filming a. Well, she's a probably guy not supposed to, to film the customers. Yeah, but still, it's really stupid that she got fired. It is stupid that she got fired. Okay, keep continue. Sorry. All right, no, it's fine. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Okay, I'm not supposed to be making TikToks at work, but this calls for it, she says. I work at a nice restaurant in Charlotte, and I need you guys to see what just came in the door. She then flipped the camera to zoom in on a male diner seated across the room with an inflatable male or female doll propped up on the seat across from him. The doll had yellow blonde hair and appeared to be wearing a black sleeveless dress. It wasn't even hand-fed grapes by her human date. The camera then turned back to Bjork. Ooh, nice name. Hello, my name is Bjork. Hello. Who brought her fingers to her forehead. Oh, I thought I was going to say vagina. <laughs> ah, her pussy. <laughs> and raised her <laughs> eyebrows. And started just rubbing that clip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish that date was me. <laughs> F- uh, hand-feed me. Uh, so she captioned it no words the footage soon racked up over a million views as well as comment from someone claiming to be the man she filmed uh oh explaining that the strange date was payback for losing a fantasy football bet hmm. interesting Bjork later kind of a prank then you know I guess yeah, yeah, yeah. along the lines you're fired you got pranked you're fired <laughs> <laughs> this is a prank. You fired, but you actually fired. <laughs> Bjork later posted a follow-up Bjork. video saying that she was fired because of the video. I knew one of two things was going to happen. It would get no views and I would be fine, or it would blow up and I would be fired. <laughs> you knew you were going to be fired? <laughs> okay. You better hope you made some money off the video. I don't get why she's fired. I still don't get it. It's not supposed to do that. Yeah, I know, but it's, it's like, nothing. It's like it's nothing bad. She didn't do anything bad. She's filming the customers. That's bad in the manager's eyes. Yes, especially if you're she's working. She's just gonna slap on the wrist. Well, maybe she's had her phone out a lot at work, and this isn't the maybe. fucking first time. You know, she sounds but right. beyond. Sounds like she does this a lot. She's a TikToker. She's always looking for a tick to talk while she's at work. Okay. <laughs> Just trust me, okay? I know I know Bjorn. You know Bjork? Bjorn. Bjork or Bjorn? Whatever. Bjork. Fuck you, Bjork. <laughs> Hello, my name is Bjork. She added she was uh, ready for new opportunities, so it wasn't too much of a shock, thank goodness. What I saw was him trying to seat her, which was mortifying. <laughs> At one point, the diner was feeding his date grapes. Yep, we went over that. The man in the video, however, quickly posted his own video of the gaff, which included a series of photos of himself seated across from the cumbersome companion. It's pronounced gif. He wrote, tough date. Tough no, date. gaff. I know, I'm joking. Gaff, giraffe. <laughs> yeah, That's funny. Is that it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Is that my only story in brought? That is. <laughs> really? Yeah, so I'm at the Bengalese. <laughs> I'm at the Bengalese. Uh, this, this is, so I have two jobs, you, you know, do. I got the radio job and then I got my counter sales job. Yeah. You fucking sell the countertops. Yeah. It's like no one of them, right? Well, I might quit my countertop selling job soon Oh, because of the inspiration from this. Next oh article. God. I'm excited now. Nice little tease, yeah. man. I like the little tease. <laughs> Sarah ditched her traditional nine to five. And because of what she's doing, I might do the same. OnlyFans? No. Oh, wow. Not an OnlyFans. Not an OnlyFans. Yes. Wow. She ditched her nine to five to become a professional sex toy tester. (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) It should be on OnlyFans. Oh, my God. Damn. It had to be there, didn't it? (laughs) <laughs> a little known odd job that reminded 34 year olds dissatisfaction with the normal office workspace i'm 34 i could call my dick a sex toy yeah there you go in my butthole too right yeah. <laughs> you can fill those sex toys with other sex toys fill me up buttercup that's what i'd tell her there you go 
Sex, she told Southwest News Service, is the only thing I have more or I love more than sleep. Okay, okay. Sounds like you have an issue, but don't we all? An issue? Yeah, she sounds like a sex sex addict. Oh. I th- I just think she sounds hot. She sounds like a dirty little whore. <laughs> D- dirty hussy. So she formerly worked as a nanny before discovering product testing in 2018. Starting with mattresses and bedding before finding her true passion. What? She started by she fucking ma- mattresses. With, why did no, I say she was a bed tester. So weird. She's a bed tester. Masturbating? Masturbating? I can't remember how I said it. Masturbating. Yes, that's it. Masturbating. While she was reviewing beds at Sleep Sleepopolis. <laughs> I hate tricky words. Yeah, that's a hard one. She, <laughs> <laughs> it's really hard. It's it's hard when you're reading it. Right, yeah. When you're looking at it. Reading. Sleepopolis. I, I almost added another pop a pop. Sleep pop pop pop. Hip hip hop. Hip hop anonymous. Uh she met her future business partner, Rose, who would later work mm-hmm. with her mm-hmm. in twenty twenty one to found mm-hmm. Delicto. Mm-hmm. A one-stop shop for all things adult pleasure, including product reviews, listings, and articles relating to sex. Nice. So, quote, I thought the only thing I loved more than sleep was sex, so that's where we headed. Head. <laughs> she tested. She has tested more than 150 different toys in her career and is particularly fond of the grinding toys. She has recently reviewed. Love Ooh. those ones. Love those ones. I like I like grinding. Like the abacus, that one. That one's my favorite. The abacus. <laughs> <laughs> I like skateboards. <laughs> I like turtles. I grind on skateboards. I grind on turtles. <laughs> <laughs> when the business first launched, we had our ups and downs. And one point, we thought, should we go back to work for the man? However... Now they are bigger than ever. A typical day in her life involves writing articles about sex education, mm-hmm. testing toys, mm-hmm. filming reviews, yeah. and offering. Oh, okay. And offering. That's a big O. stroke. <laughs> and offering tips and tutorials for different techniques in the bedroom. Oh, God, yes. Additionally, she provides shame free education about sex on social media. Oh, yeah. Sex positivity gets a little warped on the internet, but it doesn't mean that you should be game to tr- to try anything. It just means you're erasing shame from the situation. Fuck, yeah. Fuck that shame, bro. Fuck that shame. Ooh, these are the girls that are doing it. They just look like they can take a dill. <laughs> they look like they can ride a Sibian. Yeah. They look like they can take a double under their faces. They look like they can eat each other's buttholes. <laughs> And like it. And like it. A dildo. A dildo. They put those little anal bead things in their butt that they have the little the little tails on them, I bet. Oh, yeah? Like a Pikachu tail. Dude, I found a dildo! <laughs> ah, Pikachu tail, huh? Pikachu anal, uh, uh, what are they called? Yeah, they have the anal, anal, bead. anal beads, anal plug, anal, butt plug. Butt plug, yes. Butt yeah. Plug. Oh, yeah, I remember I used to go to the butt plug factory all the time. I used to oh, see the yeah. Pikachu ones. Really? Yeah. Oh, my butt plug. Yep. 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 I miss Max Bora. Was that Max Bora? Yeah. Yeah. It must have been. No, that was Pete Davidson. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's Blake Anderson. I wish I had a boom. Oh, I pulled. I found Peter Griffin doing the boom in an episode, and so I'm gonna oh. pull it for her. That's, right. That's really cool. Yeah. Wow. Oh, That'd be a first, you know, putting new drops oh, on the on. machine. Holy gosh. Yeet. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, so, uh, you never put new drops on the machine. And I know, it's I infuriating. Up on my, what do you want on it's there? It's infuriating. New drops. I want a whole new slate of drops. Tell me. Oh, my eyes. Can you today. still get free of your Hot Wings old drops? No. Or, okay. Not their new ones either? No, no. They don't have new ones. Yeah, right, right, right. We have more new ones than they do. Yeah, that's true. I guess so they're still like four years old. Come on, man. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We really need a bounce. Oh my god, that is funny. 
What is this one? I don't know. This is new. Flannel shirt, short hair, uh, men's jeans, men's just t-shirts, and just trying to look like a guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. titled Funny Girl. Why did Free Run always play that one? Oh, come on. <laughs> All I could see was her giant box. That's true. That's yes. true. So customers will come to this chick and ask why a product might be $30 from their company, but on Amazon they could find it for $10. Book out there, then. Yellow Quote, whore. It's because we're using body safe materials. Yes. Yeah. Amazon don't use body safe materials, yeah. dude. This place uses oh, fully recycled fucks. bills. What? Amazon. Right. So sometimes you'll get a you'll get a you'll order something, and it says you know arriving tomorrow. Yeah. But then sometimes it'll change to now arriving. Wednesday or whatever the following day. Right. When that happens, I know it's been lost in transit. I ordered a microphone. Yeah. That happened, so I ordered another one because I knew the one was getting lost. Uh-uh. Sure enough, it's lost. I ordered I got the the replacement, so I don't need the microphone that's lost. Yeah. I was chatting with somebody today on amazon's whatever website and i was like can i just get a refund and they're like well we can't refund you we have to we have to send a replacement and i was like well i already ordered one to replace it so i don't need a replacement i just want a refund yeah the guy's like well i'll 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 see what i can do he sets up a return so i'm returning the lost item in transit yeah so i say to him so how can I return something that's lost in transit? Yeah. And he says, well, when you return it, you'll get your money. I said, well, how can I return it if it's lost in transit? He ends the chat. Really? Yeah. Total dick move. <laughs> what? Yes. So then I called, and they're like, oh, you have to wait. Because they put a return out for that, you have to wait until the return expires and then call us back and we'll try to refund it then. Won't they eventually get it to you, though, if it's lost in transit? Like, no. Really? It, it'll never show up. Really? And that's where it's like, how can I return it if it never shows up? It it won't show up. I thought there was a thing. It's been the, weeks. On the app where you could say, like, you can cancel it still. And that's say what I did. It never showed up. Yeah, that's what I tried to do. You'll, and get, then it, you'll get your money back eventually. I hope so. Eventually, yeah. Yeah. What a pain in the that ass. That is a though. fucking pain in the ass. I dude. couldn't believe the guy just ended the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was like, what a fucking dick. <laughs> That's funny as hell. <laughs> I don't I, I do it not was a have prank. A, I do not have an answer for this. I cannot answer you. Goodbye. Exactly. Thank you. Take a penny, leave a penny. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, yes, yes. My name is John. <laughs> John Schmidt. Exactly how it goes. So You're talking to AI, I bet. Probably. <laughs> Fucking AI. Yeah, that's going to be the new thing is They're AI. Take over the world, dude. Fuck AI. Fuck AI. Oh. Just give me a fucking person. Even if it is somebody that's not here. Well, you should have called here. first, Ben. You should have called first. I should have called first. But some, you know, some company's got this fucking AI that sounds like it's a real person. No. Probably. No, don't tell anybody. I told you that. But it's fucking, they're, <laughs> they're out there, dude. Yeah, I bet. So, this is interesting. hope so. Carrie, F- <laughs> <laughs> Carrie Fisher. You know who Carrie Fisher Aww. is, right? God rest her soul. That's Princess Leia. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what I meant to. Okay. Hmm. Can, you, can you edit that part? No, it's fine. Leave it in there. Wrong, 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 wrong. <laughs> you were wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong. I'm not wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. I'm not wrong. Do you know what that's from? No. Scrum film. Oh, really? Yeah. Eagle. I don't know what that's from. It was when uh, Turk used to pick up. What was that brass character's name? T- CJ? TJ? I don't remember. It's been so J- long since I watched that JP? show. JP? No. Yeah, I think it was JP. Something like that. That, that sounds familiar. JT? No, I think it's JP. He used to pick him up 
and he'd carry him around and he'd act like he was flying and he'd yell eagle eagle and he'd like put his arms out sounds like a terrible show that's so funny <laughs> what about carrie fisher also oh, carrie was fisher. i really wrong about what that's princess leia isn't it yeah Okay, well, then you said well, wrong, 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 wrong. Yeah, exactly. You are wrong, with you. wrong. God, fuck, man. You're really giving me a complex about this. Wrong again, idiot. <sighs> <sighs> fuck off. Uh, so, Carrie Fisher, an actor. Actress. And director. Hmm. Shared an unusual deep... Uh, oh, uh, director Griffin Dunn shared Jesus. an unusual... <laughs> Deep friendship. Okay. okay. Cool. That's interesting. That's the end of the article. That's so, so cool. Wow. The pair were one time roommates in New York City as Dunn was working uh actor was a working actor and Fisher was about to land her breakout role in Star Wars. Well, how could he be done if he hadn't even started yet? <laughs> <laughs> Zinger. <laughs> In his new memoir, The Friday Afternoon Club, a family memoir, Dunn details their friendship, including his claim that she lost her virginity to him, virginity to him while dating another man. Mm. Well, I thought this was going to be more uh, crazy. That's super interesting. Because it says makes wild claim about how Star Wars Starlet lost her virginity. Well, yeah. Okay, let's keep going. I bet she was still like only 14 years old. Oh, geez. You know? Yeah. Well, maybe that's the... In an excerpt, uh, quote, first of all, let me cut to the chase and say that Carrie never became my girlfriend. Huh. She knew long before I did that being lovers would diminish our possibilities. Carrie was a virgin when we met and she lived for every lurid detail of my own sexual encounters from my first kiss to post-coital and post-coital anxieties and i shared with no one but her her curiosity was so forensic that i felt like a cadaver undergoing an autopsy mm, hot he continued <laughs> recalling she had a boyfriend at the time who was asking him the best way to win her over of all her confused suitors, Donald was. You fired. Was, <laughs> <laughs> was the one I liked the most. And I was rooting for him. And then he grabbed her by the pussy. <gasps> what? No. Oh, he woke me back up. There. I couldn't bring myself to tell him that shortly into their courtship. As messed up as it sounds, there was a certain logic to. Oh, come on. Just get to the juicy details. Mm hmm. <sighs> he explained more on their friendship, including ongoing prank war. Oh, this episode's all about pranks. Continued where shift one day and they kissed. It all made sense in the moment. We both understood that everything we were doing under those covers would not alter our friendship one iota. Uh, son of a bitch. Right, let's just move on. What? What? Can you look up how old Carrie Fisher was when, before she started uh, filming She's Star Wars? She's dead. <laughs> oh, no shit. Can you look up how old she was when she started filming Star Wars, please? Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wikipedia. Because that would just change this whole story around, you know? This guy's a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, That's not Princess funny. Leia, so 1977 was the films. She was 21. Oh, damn it. When she started filming Star Wars. A little late bloomer, huh? Yeah. She waited. She held it off until like she was legal. To, well, she was probably legal to drink at 18, I bet. Yeah, probably. Wow. All in all, Ben, that was a really good story said wild claim that was a wild claim that wasn't a wild claim at all that was just mm, we had sex we fucked you want another beer yeah beer me okay my kind sir uh, i like beer you got more stories yes i do okay fucking hit me with them then, you little bitch this one's a wedding related story no no. Hopefully something that doesn't happen after my wedding. Oh, it will. It will. 
So the wedding of a close family member should be a moment to cherish, but for a 27-year-old bridesmaid who left her sister's big day and in tears, instead of feeling the love, she felt hurt and humiliated. Oh, that's never good, Ben. While the day began well, the event took a sour turn during the reception, and more specifically, the speeches. Talk, talk, talk. <laughs> <laughs> The wedding was beautiful and everything seemed perfect until the reception. During the reception, the maid of honor, who has been my sister's best friend since childhood, gave her speech. It was emotional, but then she made a joke about how I was the family screw up. Finally managed to do something right by not messing up my bridesmaid duties. It ain't over yet. Everyone laughed. Ha ha ha. But I didn't find it funny. <laughs> the br- You're like a Foley artist. Uh-huh. Uh, the bridesmaid who wrote that for context, she has a, had a rough few years. I struggled with my mental health and dropped out of college for a while. I've since gotten my life back on track, but it's still a sensitive topic for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, seriously. Me, 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 me. <laughs> <laughs> Hearing that joke in front of all of our family and friends wasn't funny at all. My sister's best friend and I never really got along, but still, I never expected something like this from her. Especially since the day wasn't about me at all, so why bring me up in the speech? The upset bridesmaid says she tried to stay composed, but quickly became upset, began to cry. (laughs) Loser. <laughs> what a and pussy. she went outside to collect herself. <sighs> My sister followed me out and asked what was what was wrong. And when I told her, she said it was just a joke and that uh, the friend meant nothing bad. I tried to go back inside, but I couldn't. And I ended up leaving the wedding early. Sensitive. Seriously. Somebody's a little sensitive. Maybe just a little bit. Sensitive. Ugly. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Wait, we, whoa. whoa. We didn't. That was a. Oh, Every, was hey, everybody was thinking it, though. Yeah. Everybody was. This Fat. This chick's probably. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Shots coming left and yeah, right. Yeah, wow. Still thinking it. Still These are it. just jokes, lady. They're just jokes. Settle down. Oh, my God. Fucking have a little bit of thicker skin. Now know. take off that dress and. Get prepared to get <laughs> wet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. That's more like it. That was perfect. Yeah. I like that. I'm a big fan. Struck my balls. Okay. Wow, that's all. There's a lot more to that article. But really? I Fuck think it. we got the gist of yeah, it. Yeah, we get it. We get it. Now, here's one for you. This You could take this lady on a date, maybe, Brett. I hope so. A mom oh. was over the moon. Oh, I don't know how you feel about women having kids already. I'm okay with that. You started dating them. I mean... I did a I date a woman with a child. Got audio of Brad after she dates a mom with a son. I got a boy. That's me. That's <laughs> that's Brad. Was that me? That was me. <laughs> or was that the audio of her? I don't understand. That was audio of you. Oh, that was me. And here's more audio of Brad. Feels pretty good to have a bunch of little boys be super into me. That's true. That's true. I'm a stepdad. Not gonna lie. Nah, they're just random kids I found at the playground. They think I'm real cool. <laughs> I'm this is awesome. what you're going to say to that lady that has kids. No, you, you complete me. You have that, but you don't yeah, have. I know, I don't have you. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. That's, or that's... do you have, uh, you want to see a magic trick? Oh, damn it. You ruined it. How about a magic trick? Oh, okay. Nice. I just read your butt on your mind. Hole. I need to rewatch those movies soon. You need to do something with your life. I just rewatched I Know What You Did Last Summer with the fiance. It's her first time seeing it. Oh, well, she doesn't like gory shit. What do you mean? I know, but she watched it. She seen. She saw a scream with me, so I figured she could handle Is this. Is she busting through glass ceilings? She just no. blasting through barriers <laughs> right now? No, oh. definitely not. You just, watched, you just watched the first one? Yeah. Nice. We'll be watching the second because I own both. But second one has a 7% on Rotten Tomatoes. Who cares? Yeah. They're old movies. I know. They're all good in their own. It's not. It wasn't. The beginning 
and the story setup is is fine and all, but the execution of the killings and the ending to the movie was just not well done. Right. I forgot you're a fucking well-known Hollywood director who knows the shit. Whereas, like, Scream, Scream was fucking top-notch. Didn't they come out, like, within the same time frame? Yeah. Same, same, uh, same year? 96 for Scream and 97 for I Know What You Did Last Summer. Fucking posers. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I'll take fucking Jennifer Love Hewitt over uh, Drew Barrymore. Tr- no. Sydney, the chick oh, that plays Nev Sydney. Campbell? Nev Campbell, anything. Yeah. Uh, Jennifer Love Hewitt was one of my first crushes. Me too. Went, Paul Abdul, then Shania Twain, Ugh. then Julie, Ooh, then Twain. Julia Abdul. Jennifer Love Hewitt. Jennifer Love Julia Love Hewitt. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's a movie called Can't Hardly Wait that came oh. out before I know what you did the last summer. I could. I could hardly wait. I couldn't. I think I've seen this. What was that about? I saw her and I was just like, "He's about to jacket." Oh, you said that he's about to. Who? Who were you talking about when you said that? <laughs> My friend. He was oh, right there. Oh, and, and his then, dick was out. And then you had to help him. Yeah. And then I had to help him. Yes. Wow. And then I had to help. We really are coming full circle. Uh, oh, with an over the you. Yes. All of the above. Oh my God. Double tap. Oh God. Good story. Good story. Man. Oh, oh, back to this mom. Oh, yeah. Please mel- tell me more. Right. A mom was over the moon to be asked for ID when she went to buy tobacco, despite yeah. being 50. Oh, ooh, damn. You got a picture of this? I do. That's picture? what I can't wait to show you. Mm, yeah. When I saw the pictures and read the headline, I was like, ooh, we got to discuss. We must discuss. I got to show Brett this. Must discuss. Mom of two, Abby Franklin, had been struggling with her age ter- after turning 50 in March. Ah, oh, poor thing. You old bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I should save that for a drop. Pellerito, pull that for a drop. Yeah, for oh, me, he doesn't please. listen anymore. He texted me today. He's like, hey, does your place that you work at uh, still have like wire reels? Because I know you used to cut wire. Oh, cool. That's a great story. I'm glad you brought that up. He needs them for goats. Nice. Um but things change. You say, I don't fucking sling wires no more. I sling countertops, bitch. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> things changed when she popped into a co-op convenience store near her home in England last week. Oh, damn it. She's in England. Would you move for a lady with kids? Yeah. All right. If she pays for it. There you go. With kid. I just want one kid. Okay. Okay. She could have right. kids as long as she loves me and takes care of me. And the kids. And the kids, yeah. I don't yeah. want to take care of anybody. Yeah, fuck so. that. I don't even want to take care of anybody. <laughs> take care of me, bitch. <laughs> I'm just going to be over here getting fat. Rub my back all the time, please. Yes. Get my cock. So the cashier in chis- in- in chisted, insisted that Abby show him ID before he would allow her to pay for the tobacco she wanted. Her daughters are 17. And 23. Ooh, there you go. You could date the daughters and the mom at the same time. Well, one of the daughters, at least. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I have to wait another year to date the other one. That's true. Oh, God. It's going to be a long year. (laughs) (laughs) God. No. This is what you're going to say. This is audio of Brett uh, with the older daughter and the mom. Let's three-way this little issue. That is, yeah, that's totally... I'm so glad. Yeah, that's great. I love that. This is Brett right now. I have very little patience for stupidity. Yeah, that's pretty true. Yeah. So but, Abby, who uh, whose daughters are eight, oh, I already said that, had to leave the store to collect her handbag. She'd left with her youngest. She said, it was great. My best day ever. I've been bouncing all week because of this. Ooh, which button bouncing on, babe? Cock. <sighs> You want to see what this lady looks like now? Yeah. She gets ID'd, and she's pumped about it because she thinks she looks young. Okay. Oh. Looks like a monster. Damn. <laughs> Her lips are horrible. Like, whatever like she did, like, lip liner or whatever it looks like. Yeah. Other than that, I'd totally bang her. I would. She looks all flappity. No, she doesn't. I she looks skinny. Her... Her breasts oh. and her 
labia are just flappity. Uh, hey, you know, that's okay. She has two children. That's probably why. Yeah, but it's like. Wow, Ben. Jesus. It's real shallow, aren't you? Loose skin and. She does not have loose skin. Loose she is, skin and. She is. Old balls. <laughs> Her skin looks perfect for how old she is, man. She needs a tightening. Maybe, but I'll I'll tighten her up. Uh, some with that massive day. cock. Yeah, with my massive peeper. My little <laughs> peeny peeny. All right, peep. I can't wait to show you this video. This is the last thing I've got. Okay, cool. This video. So I used to work for FedEx. Remember? I do remember you. Yeah. You fed. You xed the Fed or the f- yeah something like that. I don't know some stupid joke. Psst. Uh, Psst. Let's see. Where is the video? All right, Justin. <clears throat> Come on. Hey. Give me a second. Well, yeah, you know, you should have been prepared, Ben. Oh, here we go. Okay. What's up, girl? What, did you get messaged by a chick? Oh, some girl, some hot chick just posted on Facebook. I'm just oh. looking at her picture, seeing if I can see any muff. Here you go. Here's the video what? I want you to watch. <sighs> okay. Uh, I would you like you to describe what is happening in the video. There's a front porch. It's a front porch. It's got a couple chairs. Guys, FedEx guy, right? FedEx guy is starting to walk up. He's making beeping noises. He drops it on the floor, knocks on the door. Uh, kid walks up right behind him, steals the package that he just fucking dropped on the floor. He just took the package. And ran away. <laughs> What? You are a thief. Wow. And then he tells the person who just opened the door that that guy she took just package. took your package. Yeah. Oh, my God. Said masked porch pirate snatches package oh in seconds after FedEx driver uh, looks on after delivery. Damn, dude. Wish That's the guy would have stopped him. Whoa. <laughs> what was that? Ooh. Somebody oh. watching a tornado. That's a big tornado, dude. You know what it reminded me of? What? Woo-hoo! Double Sound rainbow it? all the way. Oh, this is Trans Canadian Highway guy. No, that's the double rainbow guy. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> oh I'm winded. <laughs> <laughs> double rainbow all the way. No, it's right? Trans Canadian Highway. No, guy. that was the double rainbow guy. No. no, I know, I know, I know, I know, I'm, I know you're joking. That's the train guy. I get it. No, not train guy. What do you mean, not train guy? The Trans Canadian Highway. What do you mean, Trans Canadian Highway? I don't. Yeah, just this guy has that. a super boner over the highway. The highway? Yeah. What? What do you mean? Oh my God, Seinfeld. <laughs> no, don't even. Don't you fucking dare bring him into this. Here we go. Oh, ad. Wow, good job, Joe. Wish you would have pulled the audio, you know, earlier, ad. but. Oh, oh God. Ad. Now I want Arby's. I want ad. them curly fries and a beef and chow. Oh, we had the meats. Oh, God, here we go. The Trans Canada Highway is 8,000 miles long. I finally found the last section to be paved and had the pleasure of seeing it this summer. <laughs> Enjoy. Oh. Okay. Here we are. This is the Trans-Canada Highway, baby. And we are standing in beautiful, sunny British Columbia uh, at the kilometer marker 7,100. That's not newly paved (laughs) at all. This is where I believe with a 90%... Uh, no, make that 95% uh, chance that this is, in fact, the very place where the Trans-Canada paved its last section. Woo-hoo! Just when I think you've said yeah. the stupidest thing right ever, you here. keep talking. This is where the West meets the East. Okay, I'm over you it. Can't Thank it you can't anymore? No, it's fine. <laughs> that's fine. And then he goes for a run, and that's when he becomes winded. Jesus, that's horrible. Fucking losers. It's hilarious. Wait, how many views were on that? Nine. 
At least nine. Because I think it was under a thousand when views. I saw it. Maybe eleven views if you were lucky. It was you, wasn't it? It's totally you. Two hundred and seventeen thousand views. I have more friends than that. <laughs> Jealous. More Twitter followers. Yeah, true. I'm at the Brahengla Hayes. I want to go home. Speaking of Twitter, yeah, I'm at the Ben Glaze. Uh, follow Brett because he's at the Brett Hayes. Uh, I'm like 403, I think. Maybe 402. 407. Seven. Wow, man. Wow, look at me moving up through the ranks. Yes. I'm a big boy now. Thank you. Thank you. It deserves it. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. You're followed by X's and bros. Wow. I can change that. Right now. Oh, do it. Do it, you little bitch. I'm not going to do that. I'd like to thank the Academy um, and God. Your last, your last post was in 2021 about X's and bros. Fuck yeah. Yeah. That's when it was good. <laughs> Just speaking my mind. That show fucking sucks now. <laughs> She's dead. Mm-hmm. AB called the radio show the other week. Oh, really? Ace. To talk to Huge? No, to talk to me. Oh, really? Because when the other guys were filling in, he's like, how's oh. it going, man? I was like, ah, not bad, man. How are you? Was he driving to his other gig? I don't know. Yeah, something like that. JR Radio? Yeah, WJR? I think so. Well, it's nice to hear, hear from him. I haven't heard from him in a while. Besides when he, the last time I heard from him, I had a, I had a radio dream. Oh, really? Where he was filling in for Shepard. Wouldn't that be the best? And... I couldn't remember what buttons to press on the board. That was the dream. I was freaking the fuck out. Yeah. I've been having a lot of radio dreams lately. You have been? Mm-hmm. Like what? That type of shit. Oh, Just okay. Like, Where whoa, things go everything's wrong. going wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I want to go home now, please. All right. I love you. Okay. Uh, bah. What? <laughs> Brian Glaze? Bah. Bah. Hi, Bobby. offensive to everybody it should be offensive to americans and as an american um i don't, I don't know how you could perceive that as not being offensive as funny or creative that's not what it is and we apologize for our stupidity and we really hope you forgive us for what we've done oh boy that's awesome